Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today we're going to take a look at a little tiny vest pocket automatic pistol manufactured by SIG in Neuhausen. Now this is interesting for a couple of reasons. Uh, from a historical perspective, it is only the second automatic pistol manufactured by SIG. Their first one was the 1894 Monlicker Blow Forward pistols in 6.5mm. Those had to be manufactured in Switzerland in order to be entered into Swiss military trials at that time. And then after that, there would be a delay of like 25 years before SIG would get into another handgun, and it would be this one. So let's just, because this thing's so tiny you can't really see anything from back there, so let's bring the camera in closer right now. The second thing that makes this really cool, and the more cool thing really, is this is the first of the trigger cocking pistols. This one's got some grease in it, so the uh, slide moves a little slowly there. But this is the first of the pistols that was manufactured where you could actually rack the slide using your trigger finger. So that's the trigger. That, slowly, there we go, that recocks the gun and chambers a new cartridge. So this was designed, uh, or patented, the idea was from a Pole by the name of Witold Chailuski, who was living in Vienna, Austria, and he came up with this idea. This is a great way to be able to carry a pistol very safely with the, the chamber empty, you know, in a pocket or whatnot, and then be able to easily rack the slide with one hand using your trigger finger when you decide that you want to shoot. He came up with this idea well before World War I, and he patented it in a variety of European countries uh, between like 1910 and 1918, but it took him until after the war to find a company that was actually interested and willing and capable of producing it, and that company was SIG in Neuhausen. So he did some negotiation with them, and they came to an agreement that SIG would go ahead and make a thousand of the guns and pay him a, uh, a royalty on those guns, and then if it took off, SIG would maintain the, uh, the uh, distributorship, the, the exclusive distributorship for the guns in, in the entire world except for North and South America. And so obviously the hope was that they'd take off and you know, become very popular. Well, there were problems in manufacturing apparently, and the guns were not all that popular. And so by either 1921 or 1923, sources vary, um, apparently the deal kind of fell apart. The original thousand guns were actually made, but that was all. SIG didn't end up taking, you know, making use of its option to manufacture any more. The patent rights uh, fell back to Chailuski at that point, and he would go on to take the gun and, and interest first Bergman and then Lignos uh, with this system, and the guns would be made under both of those brand names by both of those factories. Uh, with actually substantially more success than SIG originally had. So you'll see the Lignos guns around in a variety of configurations. Uh, some of them have longer, uh, longer grips, they're available in both 25 and 32 caliber, where the Chailuskis are pretty much all the same. There are a few variations, there are some with a little bit longer barrel, um, and there's some variety in the markings, which we didn't actually look at. Uh, the marking here is very, very light, but it is SIG Industry uh, uh, Society Industrial Suisse Neuhausen. Uh, that J, by the way, was the how the I, how the letter I was formed uh, back at this point. This one is serial number 130 out of a thousand, and of course it's patent Chailuski. Now I've seen there's one of these uh, that Ed Buffalo has pictures of that is Brevet Chailuski and has this marking. Uh, milled out. So it seems very potentially likely to me that SIG may have not been able to sell a bunch of the guns that they had made, and so they may have gone ahead and basically wholesaled a big batch of them uh, to someone else, presumably Belgian, uh, who took the SIG name off, remarked them as, as Brevet instead of Patent, and, and resold them somewhere else. Uh, these have a detachable magazine. These are all in 25 ACP. They hold seven rounds. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to these guys. There is a safety, a manual safety there, in addition to um, the obvious ability to carry these with the chamber empty. And there you go. One trigger cocking uh, Sig Chailuski pistol.
Hopefully you guys found this to be an interesting video. I know uh, the Lignos pistols are definitely a lot more common out there than the Sig Chaluskis, and I thought it would be cool to take a look at the one gun that was the origin of this whole single hand cocking thing. So if you enjoy seeing this sort of thing on the web, please do consider uh, supporting me directly through ForgottenWeapons.com or through Patreon. Uh, it is support from viewers like you that makes it possible for me to travel and find neat little guns like this and bring them to you guys. Thanks for watching.